goals, the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or desired result. We know what goals are. You most likely have one in your head right now. We use goals to progress in life and also keep track of our progression. They are metaphorical finish lines in our heads. Although we are all aware of what goals are, it seems not all of us know how to use them correctly. Many recent studies have shown that the general population understand and set goals regularly, but are doing it incorrectly. Each year, around 125 million Americans set New Year's resolutions. Of that 125 million, over 100 million fail at their goal. This is a huge number. Obviously something is going wrong, but luckily for us, a lot of research and studies have been done on this. The most popular study, which has done its rounds online, is the 1979 Harvard Business School MBA study. You may have heard of it. They asked students, have you set written goals and created a plan for their attainment? For the graduation, it was determined that 84% of the entire class had set no goals at all. 13% of the class had set written goals but had no concrete plans. 3% of the class had both written goals and concrete plans. So what were the results? Well, 10 years later, they came back to the students and concluded that the 13% group that had written goals but had no plan were making over twice as much money as their 84% counterparts, whom had written no goals at all. The study suggests something even more impressive with the 3% of the class that had written their goals with a concrete plan. It concluded that they were making 10 times as much money as the 97%, 10 times more than the whole class. The numbers are staggering, probably something you have already heard online. But the issue is that the 1979 Harvard study is very hard to verify as true, and many people have raised issue with it in the past. So does this mean that it's untrue? More recently, a lot more verifiable studies have come out agreeing with the results of the supposed Harvard study. The main issue was the numbers from the 1979 study don't exactly match up with the newer studies. But the results are still extremely promising, heavily emphasize the importance of writing down your goals. Psychology professor Dr. Gail Matthews' recent study suggested that just writing down your goals gives you a 42% better chance of success. It didn't talk specifics on how well it needed to be written or planned, though. Other studies suggested that a structured plan along with your goal could increase your chances of succeeding even more so. If simply writing your goals down gives you a 42% advantage, why wouldn't you? Having a goal in your head is great, but the studies repeatedly show that putting them on paper definitely gives you the edge, but you can take it further. When you're setting your goals, make them highly specific. This will concentrate your efforts, making sure you're not wasting time. It also makes them that little bit more real. Let's say your goal right now is to become a millionaire. Well, that could mean a lot of things. But let's say we're talking just the figures. You could end up earning a million dollars, but you limited yourself by not being specific. Write down the number. Maybe it is 142 million, a really obscure and specific number, but it's on paper. It's written down constantly in your head. Just remember when writing goals that you could also be limiting yourself by writing them down. So choose them wisely, think specifically, and make sure that your reasoning is correct. Why do you want this specific amount of money? Are you overreaching? Or do you have sufficient motivation and reason to obtain it? Most importantly, once you have your goal set, you can now break it down into a plan. If it were a number, you could break it down over the time scale you want to give yourself. Then see what you need to be earning daily or weekly to arrive at your goals. You want to save $1 million over five years 
that's around $16,666.66 a month, or $3,834 a week, or $547.94 a day. You see, it is now hyper-specific to the penny. You know how much you need a day, so you can easily work out how much you need to be saving or earning each hour. But you can only do this once you have the end goal and the specifics of your plan in place. This isn't just a money thing. This works with all types of goals. Everything can be broken down. Once you have specific numbers and plans, you need to implement them into your life correctly. Having it tucked away in a drawer isn't going to do it. It will be dependent on how you cope with strategy and you must figure out and develop what is best for you. If we were to take the figures, you could plaster the daily goal in places you are sure to see every day or every time you're using money. Maybe write the number on your bathroom mirror so you see it every time you brush your teeth. Maybe stick it to your ceiling above your bed so every time you wake up and go to sleep you see it there staring at you constantly. You may even start to dream about it. Grant Cardone is an extremely successful businessman and he implements these techniques in his everyday life. Each morning and each night he writes down his goal. He said he does this so all day he thinks about it and all night he dreams about it. Along the way, you'll need to reference back to your plan. So make sure it's written down. You may be ahead of your schedule or you may be behind. So you'll need to adjust your plans and your goals. This is a must with plans. The ability to adjust is necessary and you must be flexible to change. Things will happen along the way with your goals that you didn't expect. Maybe recessions will hit, maybe financial ruin. Whatever it is, you must adjust and adapt so you can keep moving forward. A goal without a plan is just a dream. Make a plan and write it down. If you enjoy these types of videos, you could sign up to audible.com for a free 30 day trial and get a free audiobook of your choice from authors and speakers like Gary Vee, Tony Robbins, and many more. You can keep the book even if you cancel before the trial ends. Click the link in the description to find out more.